Hello, everybody. Welcome to Staten Talk. I know what you're saying. Dana, man, come on, make up your mind with your channel, dude. I get it. But, you know, I was searching and looking and I could not find when I was going through and I saw that this name was available. I went, you've got to be kidding me. And I jumped on it. There's a lot I want to cover today, a lot to unpack. And first, I want to start by apologizing to all of you. I've had a lot that has been going on since my journey with my dad passing and my mom being sick and getting well and then feeling sick again. And, and now I'm going to school to be a pastor. And so I have all of this stuff that got me away from making the videos that you guys have been watching. And there's been a couple of comments and those, those comments are uh, justified. And so I wanted to apologize. So we're back to it. My mom is doing well. And so school's going well. And so let's go ahead into the update. Cholesterol is still in check at 120 on my LDL. Triglycerides are 67. And my HDL, I was able to raise that up to 70. So still sitting good. I've had some different people that have asked different questions, and I'm going to get to those in a second. First, I want to address one, que one thing that was posted. I was told that with my heart attack and everything, being on statins at 80, milligra 80 milligrams probably didn't happen, and uh, with no dietary change. Well, if you ever watched my videos, you would see that I did make dietary changes. Also, along with this, if you see the short that I made, I was on 80 milligrams of Avastatin. So it's not something that I'm just saying I was doing. I actually am living this like you guys have and are. One lady posted, you know, here's an idea, and I want to ask you guys, comment down below on this video. I'm going to give it about a week to get all the comments in. If you would like me to go and pull your comments and then have Staten talk over your comments, let me know. I don't want to start pulling people's names and posting them without approval, knowledge, or anything from you guys, because you all are the ones that I'm trying to help from where I came from, or you may have already got to where I'm at as well, and you're just looking at different things. I know that nobody likes my salmon recipe or my tuna recipe, because that never gets watched. <laughs> so I go, they don't like fish. And I know I'm like, well, that video is awful. Bear with me. I am learning, getting better at this, but I think we've got the name. I think we got stuff rolling now. I just really think with what we could do is we can live and go down this journey together. And we can talk through this journey together and we can just get through it. I really think, and I think with Staten Talk, we can just talk it all together, send in your questions, and authorize, I can post it, and what I'll do is I'll bring up, bring them up on the screen, and, you know, we'll go over the comments one by one together, and get the answers, and tell you what I think. There is one that was posted that asked... Should I, or how do I, how do I safely get off of statins? And that is a great question. 
whatever you do, don't just quit taking them because you're watching this video and you go, yeah, you know, I had, I have muscle pain. I have aches. I am constipated. Sorry. That's a hard one. And that's a subject that we're going to get into as well. So stick, stick around. And I don't know, I mean, literally, but it is a topic of conversation that needs to happen. When I came off the medicine, I went from 80 to 40 and I took 40 for a while. Then I went from 40 to 25. Then I went from 25, cut that. I got, I got one of those pill cutters and I went from 25 to 12.5 and then I quit and I came off. So it was a gradual, slow slope coming down off of it. Now, let's talk about the elephant that's in a room that everybody talks about. Number one, what statins do to it, to us. They constipate you, don't they, people? We all know that. We all can say, yes, they do. Well, here's the bad thing. We get prescribed medication to offset medication. And that makes no sense at all. You go and you let them know and they say, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and give you this stool softener and we're going to give you this medicine, which affects the lining of your colon and it affects your intestines. And it's just bad mojo all the way around. Big pharma just in one big circle. One big loop. Next thing you know, you have to take a medicine for something else because this medicine caused this to cause this to cause this. You see where we're going with this? So take magnesium. That's what I do. I drink water. I eat fiber. And I eat and I take magnesium. And it has fixed my problem. Don't have that problem anymore. So try that out. Should work. Have you ever noticed when you're taking your high blood pressure medicine? Have you ever noticed that it says don't eat a grapefruit? It's because they do the same thing. And if you eat a grapefruit, I don't know if there's something else in the grapefruit, but grapefruit automatically drops your blood pressure. You'd be dropping your blood pressure and dropping your blood pressure. That would make, you know, yeah, that would definitely, crack, you know, be a bad thing. Look into that. Get, get a doctor. And I always say this, find you a doctor that will work with you. That is the biggest thing, people. That's what we need to do. We need to have doctors that will work with us, that will listen to us that will understand the way that you feel. You need a doctor that understands that you are taking your body over because that's what this is about. This is about our cardiologist working for us. And you know, the other thing that they don't do is after a heart attack is that I don't know how many people out there became a hypochondriac. I did see my hands up. I became a hypochondriac. I thought, Ooh, is that mean? You know, is that, is that a heart attack? You know, I went through all of this stuff over and over again. Oh, by the way, that was shadow. If you hear the barking, that is my German shepherd that you guys see retired canine dog keeps my house very safe. Anyway, like I said, that, that was Shadow. Finally, she stopped barking. Make sure that you have that doctor that will work with you the way that you want to do whatever you want to do for your body to keep yourself safe. People, we're in this together because the doctors are not in this with us. I, I lucked out, found a good doctor that works with me and listens to what I say 
And I said, I am not going to take uh, cholesterol statin medication because it is one of the worst drugs that I could put in my body. So we're going to find alternatives and we're going to do things a different way. She said, we sure are. That's what you need. You need a cardiologist that is not going to tell you that you just need to take what they're telling you to take and you need to be quiet because that's not going to work. You know, it's not. With that said, I'm excited to find out whether or not you guys want to start doing comment statin talk. That would be awesome. We can go over everything. You can put the comments in. And the next one, I'll, I'll pull, you know, three comments, you know, every time. After every video, everybody can put a comment. What I would like is for everybody to like, share, hit the notification bell, and help me grow this channel. I finally hit the 300 mark subscribers. I thank each and every one of you. I thank you. Let's keep it going, people. Let's work together, okay? And as I say, never, ever give up. Take care.